I am here today sitting down and chatting with Miss Stardy Aslan. How are you? I'm doing great. It's good, good to, to be in Nashville. You. Good to have you mm -hmm. here. How awesome. Now you came all the way from, uh, you live in Texas? I do. I'm born and raised Texas girl. So Texas girl yes. from a large family in Texas? From, How? A, from a large family. I grew up in a, in a really small house with uh, my mom and my dad, my grandparents, my aunt, and my three sisters and me. So I mean, it was a full house. <laughs> and you, your career, I mean, because basically you you did a lot of singing in Texas and um, around down in... Yeah, you know, um, I did. You know, I started singing at age 11 and, um, you know, at 13 I was going around at the, at the local honky tonks in San Marcos, you know, one being Cheatham Street Warehouse, which is a legendary place, you know, that all the greats have sang at, you know, Willie Nelson, Waylon, um, you know, George Strait got his start there, Randy Rogers, you know, Pat Green, everyone's play there. And um, you know, I've just been very lucky to have been able to also, you know, get my start there as well. Um, so yeah, you know, I just, I've just been singing around there all my life and two years ago got signed to Curb Records. So it's How been cool. really, really fun. Like a rose, like a rose. The song "Like a Rose" is gonna is your current single, right? And um, tell me a little bit on that because this song yeah. was around a while, huh? Yes, you know, "Like a Rose" was um, a, is a song that I wrote, and it was one of the first songs I had ever written. And I wrote it at age 14 or 15. You know, I can't really remember exactly how old I was, but it's it's about a song. It's about a you know a girl becoming a woman, and also you know if you're a guy hearing the song, you're probably like, that's totally about my my woman. You know, like you treat her good. And she's gonna bloom, but you treat her bad, and she's gonna she's well, got thorns, and she'll and she'll prick, you know, cause like a rose. So it's it's a really you know it's a good song, and you know we released it in Texas, and they seem they seem to love it there. So you know that's that's been going really well for us, and we're gonna continue pursuing that song, and you know regionally, and um, see how that goes. So uh, you know, and I've also got um, Tommy Foot, George Strait's road manager, out on the road with me. So that's helped us out a whole lot. And um, how fun! How did that? Awesome. He's known me since I've been singing at Cheatham Street when I was 13. Wow. So, you know, he, he was there when I was singing um, at that age. And, um, you know, I, I was th then, like, too young for him to do anything with me. But, you know, uh, just, I would say, six months ago, he kind of volunteered to come on board and really help us. And he's just been wanting to go on the road with us. So he's he's doing it, and it has been such a blessing for, for you know, everybody. You walk through the door. Now you also have a lot that you're doing with NASCAR. I think your pretty yes. face is on a yes, race we've, car. Yes, we've been involved with NASCAR. Um, as you may know, Mike Curb is a huge NASCAR fan, and he's got cars in the race. And um, he's been so kind as to put my face, name, and logo all over the cars. So we got tons of exposure. So you know, thanks to Mike Curb and. You know, he's really been a big believer from the start, and you know, he's the one who signed me personally and came out of retirement to um, to work and produce uh, "She's Pretty" and um, "Like a Rose." So, you know, he's really been supportive. That's special. Really special. That's really special. Really special. Really special. To get True Country on your phone, just text TC to 44688.